Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the two case studies based on a couple of my previous videos where we talked about uh, measure of central tendency and uh, measure of variation in data. So in, these are the two case studies in front of you where in the first case study we are trying uh, to study customers wait time in bank during peak hours and uh, the second case study is about the battery life to improve the quality in your production. So let's move on to the first case study and uh, here is an example of a commercial bank. Uh, so here a commercial bank is concerned about the customers who are suffering from long wait time during peak hours. They want to study and then reduce the wait time so that customer experience can be enhanced. So here is a sample list uh, of, cust of uh, all customers during the peak hours and based on this data we would like to study the minimum maximum time that customer has to wait during peak time, average duration of wait time uh, because this will going to help suggest, uh, this will going to help bank employee to suggest customers how much time they may have to wait and what is the standard deviation. After that, I will ask you to leave your comments about what according to you should be the benchmark of waiting time for bank during peak hours. So basically, uh, based on identifying these uh, different points, uh, minimum, maximum, the average or standard deviation, what do you think should be uh, the benchmark for a bank or what uh, so th they can say that minimum this much time will definitely going to take and beyond and reducing the time beyond this is uh, something which is uh, which require more resources or uh, more investments so let's go ahead and see how we can do this in a click view uh, which is uh, very simple. Uh, I, I have explained in my previous videos about it. So let me go to the quick view. Here is the uh, same data which is over here and uh, just that uh, it is bit sorted. So in this case uh, if I need to figure out the standard deviation, average, minimum, maximum I have two choices. I can simply right click go to new sheet object I can use the chart and uh, and input the formula or I can use the statistics box so right now because I don't have any dimension attached to it it's just a very simple data I can use the statistics box and uh, what I will uh, I'm basically interested to know uh, is the minimum maximum and the standard deviation but I have a whole lot of these formulas so I will just remove this total sum average is good minimum maximum is good standard deviation is good so i'll just select that and i'll click ok so now i have the information about uh, okay so i have selected it for batteries so that's not what i want i will just put it into the sheet one uh, where i have the batteries examples i'll just go ahead again and choose the statistics box and uh, the table or the field that I want is the waiting time. So here, from here I can select this information. Now, I will remove again the sum and total count and add the standard deviation and click OK. Alright. So now I have this information where it is saying that average wait time is 5.2 minutes. The standard deviation is 1.63. Minimum wait time is 1.38 and maximum wait time is 7.46. Now this data is really helpful to do our further study and uh, figure out what we really want to do in this case. So first thing is whether the average of 5.29 if we rounding it. So let me just round it and to show you how we can do that. I can go in number in average I will say override default setting and I will say fixed to let's say two decimal and same is the case in the standard deviation we just say fixed to two decimal all right so now good 
So now, uh, in this case, if we are saying we have an average of 5.29, then we can decide with our uh, team that whether this average is good or not for our customers. I mean, will somebody really like to wait for 5.29 minutes uh, on an average during the peak time? Similarly, the maximum time 7.46, this is definitely uh, not good because that will gonna frustrate the customers uh, and uh, we may need to figure it out the specific cases by interviewing the customers or by interviewing the uh, uh, employees about uh, why it has happened and what uh, how how uh, how much why uh, so much time it took to serve the customer after this the standard deviation so 1.64 of standard deviation we are getting is basically saying that uh, if we add and subtract one standard deviation that means 5.29 plus 1.64 and 5.29 minus 1.64 uh, then how many observations will come into that so that will be around 68 percent and that is that will be cleared by my previous video where I have explained the empirical rule that uh, one standard deviation covers your 68% of population. So in this case uh, 1.64 if we are uh, adding and subtracting then the values are and I've just calculated in background it is coming around uh, 3.65 and uh, 6.993 or something. So that is something like uh, from 4.02 to this 6.55 boundary and this is approximately 68% of your observations. So, so that's, what, that's what basically standard deviation is saying that uh, um, if we are looking at the maximum population of 68% then their wait time starts from 4 minutes to 6.55 minutes and these are some of the extreme cases which can be covered in two standard deviation which is 95 percent and three standard deviation that means the almost entire population in 99.7 percent so after this uh, the question we were uh, asking that uh, what according to you should be the benchmark of waiting time for the bank during peak hours so in that case, would you choose the average or uh, would you like to reduce it by one standard deviation or what would you do? So think about this, uh, what we can really do in this case. Uh, there is, I would say, n not a uh, absolutely correct answer because uh, we are not having a lot of other observations about why it is happening, those factors responsible for it. And don't have an understanding about uh, uh, the other competitors or uh, what is the wait time at other banks but looking at this data what findings you can have and say what should be the benchmark will basically going to uh, do a little bit of brainstorming for you so that's the first case study the second case study is about uh, battery life and in this battery life it's basically saying that a production house of rechargeable battery wants to reduce the variation in number of minutes that each battery takes until they are fully trained. Above is a list of uh, uh, minutes uh, from sample batteries that are taken out from running production. Now similar to last example we again want to know minimum and maximum time just to see the range of uh, whether it is a very high range or low range. What is the average duration uh, so that it will help us communicating uh, to management that at least on an average this much is the time which is which it is taking uh, what is the standard deviation um, that will going to help us understand about the behavior of our observations uh, from the average so and then after this the question for you is in what way this information will be useful for manufacturer what you will going to communicate to them what should manufacturers suggest to customers about uh, the life of the battery after getting fully charged? So that is uh, something whether it is minimum that you are going to suggest, maximum, average or help of, will take a help of standard deviation, then you will tell it. So up to you what you are thinking about it, uh, similar to last example, uh, the explanation that I gave and then you can leave your comment about it. 
So let's go to this sheet one where I have the batteries example. And here in this case, uh, these are the batteries sorted list. And here I have taken an average and standard deviation minimum and maximum. So uh, taking an average in this case uh, is something not so, so much of meaningful. Why? Because uh, we have this extremely high observation of 1058 that may skew your result in this case if you have seen my previous video about measure of central tendency there i have explained that what you need to do in that case so look at that video and uh, figure it out and uh, but for now uh, i will just tell you that in that case if if that is the case then we basically take the median so I will take both average and median in this case. Um, so median is coming around 460, which is truly representing uh, the uh, middle value or the average value. And uh, with that, uh, we have standard deviation of 210 minimum and maximum value. So looking at the minimum and maximum value, we say that uh, there is definitely something really bad going on with the production because the range is really really high from 273 to 1058 almost a range of around 800 and so so in this in that case we definitely want to suggest manufacturer that they need to look at their production facility and figure it out what why there is so much of a variance uh, uh, or why there is such a broad range of uh, battery life and uh, then the median of 460 is basically suggesting that on an average battery is uh, is taking 460 minutes to fully drain out and then the standard deviation i am leaving to you uh, because in the last example i have explained you how to interpret it so in this example i will suggest you to interpret it and look at the previous video of uh, empirical rule to figure out this information so with that, uh, I'm leaving uh, this for you to make some comments about what, in what way this information will be useful for manufacturer and what should manufacturer suggested customers about the life of battery. So whether you will suggest median, average or taking the help of standard deviation and then suggesting it. So with that, uh, uh, that's pretty much all I want to discuss in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with some new topic.